Hello, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's Star Trek Online, which I've wanted to at least talk about on the channel, at least once. Um, and Happy New Year. Happy New Year. This is mm -hmm. the ninth day of Christmas. <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> bravely go, and. We're gonna talk about Star Trek, and I'm I'm cruising in my ship. I forget its name. And we will to... we will put very subtle plugs for the Orville. Yes, as we are which is game. <laughs> the the best current Star Trek because Star Trek Discovery. I don't know. We'll start a culture we will war. Try not to bash too hard. Yeah, we'll try not to start <laughs> a culture war in the comments section, but it blows. But we have opinions. Yeah. Well, it just it just sucks. Um. I hope you like people getting stabbed in the face. And lots and of... F-bombing and everyone say, and hates of, each other. Lots of F-bombing. This is the starting crew for the most part. The long-term plan. Dave Windsor. My last name's not Windsor, but... Um, when Prince Harry was in the army. The royals <laughs> don't have last names. And so that's his last name was there? Windsor. Yes. That's <laughs> why so I did that. Um, not Buckingham Is he still... Something. Huh? No, no, because like the Duke of Windsor. Oh. Windsor Plywood. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, do the... Americans have ones? Eh, who cares? Um, do Americans have what? Windsor Plywood. <laughs> oh, I was Where just Where do you th get I, your plywood? I was just thinking, oh, that's a cute little Canadianism we have going on here. Is it? I don't yes. know if there's a Windsor, Ontario, but I think that's just because there's a Windsor in England. Mm -hmm. Kind of like how there's a New York. Mm. But that's just. Because there's already old New, New York. New Canada. Um, so like this is just a stock character. The long-term plan. We're just gonna do a mission. They're kind of Star Trekky. This is Star Trek there Online. There will certainly be a Klingon resistance. Elisa Flores is like the starting. All right, we're gonna have to figure out the. Uh, yeah, we'll just open fire. Um, the fire ground combat. Ask questions later. That is how I roll. The <laughs> ground combat's okay by MMO standards, but the space combat's really good, so we're just gonna try to get there, basically. I was just gonna say, it for a second, it looked like it was you and four Klingons. Oh yeah, that's, that's how I roll. Well, you get a flanking bonus, so... Oh. Shooting people in the back is the Star Trek way. And and you can... Ha! Well, if you're from Star Trek Discovery. <laughs> yeah, that is the Then you do. Way. A little rusty on the controls, <laughs> haven't played the game in a while, so this might be interesting. Anyway, the plan for the crew, it's mostly just starting people I have right now, but my plan is to, as soon as I have enough money, mm -hmm. or energy credits, we don't have money, why well, set up an advanced research facility on a planet that's hostile? It's a secret research facility, folks. We're about to... Obviously, we're going to use the hostility of the Apple planet is throttling to share what we're doing. Their old, their old phones, and we're about to blow this story wide open. <laughs> Um, my plan is to create, uh, to like recruit the highest level, like crew members possible, and you need money to do that basically. Um, and then Idris Elba, I'm gonna make, and he and I are gonna <laughs> rock our way across the galaxy. <laughs> so right now, I think all but one of my characters are just the starting ones you, you get. I'm under attack for the first time now. And you will try to recruit as many next-gen, like, characters. No, no, it's just <laughs> going to be me and Idris and then whoever okay. comes up that's purple. <laughs> so, like, when you get an item drop or uh, the ability to recruit a crew member, it can... Hmm, I think I should shoot these people. But they're retreating. Uh-uh, they're red. All right, we're going to What attempt. did they ever do to you? They were in the wrong place Sorry, at the wrong are you, time. Are you sneaking in here? I missed the preamble. That's like, a preamble. good question. Because that's, that's, that's not very sneaky if you're like, hey, I'm just going to shoot everyone down. Locate the research lab. But where could it be? All right. Is I this guess... one of those games that gives you too many instructions? Or is it a good amount? Um, it gives you... Hey, I'm supposed to go this way and kill all these people. Uh, it gives instructions. Um, let's see, do I remember how to throw the grenade? Mm. Hard to say. I dropped into first person mode briefly. Oh, someone lived. Anyway, the game... Is, is Dave Windsor part of, like, 
the union? The the Federation? You yes. have been watching a lot of the Orville. Oh goodness, I'm in a chat menu. <laughs> everybody's everybody's favorite. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm very anti-social online, all <laughs> things considered, considering I run a YouTube channel. Man, like, but Twitch, also, first thing I do on anyone else's channel is turn off the chat. But you also don't know if you're gonna, like, be talking to an eight-year-old and their friends, or, like, as opposed to if you plan, Or even worse, or if you like, a, grow playing, a neck beard. <laughs> or if you plan playing with your friends online, that's a little different. I, you know... I can't say I'm a big fan of that either. I feel like you had a headset oh. for your Xbox for a it while. It came with it. Yeah, and you like you used it for a while, and then it all of a sudden just disappeared. So... It was kind of loud. I don't know. <laughs> I the Xbox 360 I got. That was the console I had last generation. That I, and the the Wii U. Um, I just remember still you... love you, babe. <laughs> I just remember you talking in your outside voice a lot with the Xbox headset. Well, we would play like the Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, which in my opinion led towards stress. <laughs> Not compared to like maybe some other stuff. Played a little Left 4 Dead. Alright. You were kind of social in Overwatch then, weren't you? No, I don't talk to people in Overwatch. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I played with friends once. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I, uh, and everyone talks about, like, the horrors of solo queue, and it's like, it's the only way I know, babe. <laughs> that was, you think you've been to hell? I've only lived there forever. All right, we're going to enter the Klingon Research Lab and find out what they're looking into. The plot is mostly about shapeshifters screwing everything up, I think. Oh. Yeah, it's actually really sad. It's very Star Trek Discovery, actually, where oh. the idyllic future... What's the who's the, what's the shapeshifter's name from Deep Space Nine? Like Odo? Yeah, like his race. I think so, or it oh. could be a different race. I don't know. Okay. Again, I'm a little fuzzy on this. <laughs> um, all right. Amar Singh is both brilliant and unstable. Oh. Well, he's not going to be easy catch. All right, bluff him out. No, I don't believe in bluffing. Have the Bardia. Okay, that's our ship. Another till we have faces reference. Give yourself a hundred get Dave points. You named it the Bardia? Yeah. <laughs> I, like... I, I like read it on screen and I was like, this is a weird king. <laughs> what a coincidence. Yeah. You're a fan of retelling of Greek myth? <laughs> I was going to say convenience. Yeah. I'm a little foggy now. You might be still drunk. Um... What? <laughs> no, no. Whoa? No, no. It's um... just late. Always. But if he tries to flee by shuttle or transport, yeah, sure, that seems prudent. So we're going to search for a person. I don't remember the context for this mission at all. Uh-oh. Worst operating system ever. Augmented crazed Gorn? He's got two adjectives. Why Caliber and I so play? Because he's augmented and crazed. The normal Gorn is one foot tall. Oh, really? No. no. Oh. <laughs> I was like, how do you know this for your vague memory of this game? Well, they're from like an old original series episode that's like Gorn? kind of famous. Yeah, I think they're only in one, but they're kind of famous for it because it's got one of the worst fight scenes in history. <laughs> it's the start of like this, the Star Trek punch, the two-handed. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. You all know what gestures I'm making. Yes. Yeah, it's the Star Trek bunch. If not, I'm sure you could probably Google it. Okay, sometimes you actually have to read these. Oh, well, let's pay attention. His DNA's been augmented. <laughs> All right. Heightened emotional response. Kids, if He's you do be roids, really sad. you're going to be... He's just going to cry. <laughs> His emo... They had heightened the wrong emotions. We aimed for aggression, but we got was brooding. I'm just thinking uh... about if he, if he had... Um, from inside out, if he had, if he was piloting. His oh yeah, it, like they wanted like, anger to be really, the pilot emotion, yeah. but it's Phyllis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, not Phyllis. Fear. Uh, that is Bill Hader. Oh but no. But Phyllis from the Office is sadness. It's sadness, right? And Mindy Kaling from the Office is disgust. Right. It's always fun knowing. And the... Leslie Nope from Parks and Rec, which is based on the Office, is uh, joy. Joy, right? Yeah. There's. I guess you know who the casting director was friends with. <laughs> That's true. So, 
sometimes we reference that if get dave's not listening and he'll just be like i'm, I'm so sorry, sorry sir no, no one was listening, listening. yeah it's just this like because then you smile and you're like oh, yeah. okay i didn't read that one very carefully we'll probably get away with it usually it's an mmo so you just go towards the green thing there'll be a map pip okay bypass security system like everyone on Star this. Trek, I have an advanced knowledge of every computer interface designed in the galaxy. But the computer faces are also so low tech that they will blow up upon any impact at they, all. They really got to watch where they put those <laughs> conduits. All right. It's like another short circuit. I think this guy is either a con reference oh. or con or a data reference, but I think that's soon. Oh. So I think this is a con reference. Do they have permission, like, intellectually property-wise to... Write? Intellectually property? In, 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 <laughs> yes. She is that's tired. Like, that's the extra intellectual. <laughs> it's intellectually. <laughs> but Combining... They... Oh my goodness! He's just having an orgy. Oh He's boy. <laughs> just, if it's got a hole, shove it in it. No, I'm imagining it more Science. like... Science! No, I'm imagining more like Battlestar Galactica. Like They're trying to pools. breed? No, he's talking... Uh-oh. We just lost the recording feed. Oh, no. Um, I'm just going to keep mashing. Okay, can you oh, keep boy. hitting R2 on this controller? Ah, uh, yep. Okay. Folks, we'll be right back. <laughs> it's It's been what? bad lately. All right, we're back. You can stop shooting now. That was a good tag team. <laughs> so, if I'm not... I think my crew's being attacked. Oh, goodness. He's augmented. It takes about probably... What did they say? 20% smarter and 30% heavier or something? Stronger, I stronger. think. Stronger, okay. But not smart. Yeah, I, I don't... He doesn't seem smart. I feel like that's the thing to augment if you're going to augment Intelligence? Something. Yeah, well, don't make them no, like No, that's going to backfire. Oh, that... Right. Yeah, it would be like, okay, I have a pet wolf. Also, the pet wolf is 5% smarter than me. Oh, uh, that doesn't end well. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Hey, buddy. How did you trap me? Uh, don't tell him. Why do I have to brag? Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> you did the wrong thing. What else can you tell me? Okay. Ask Wait. The, ask him about the things. Oh, no, no. Oh, okay. I, don't, I don't care. Oh. Okay. okay, we have to depart the system. I don't know who this guy is. The Barty has a good name for a ship. Yeah. I like that. Steady. Yeah. And it makes sense, because sometimes if you name your ship something, and then it like is inserted into all the text and doesn't really make sense. <laughs> so what I want is <laughs> Or for... is it very inappropriate? Well, <laughs> man, I was hoping going? there would be ship combat here. I'm sorry, everyone. We'll do one more. Um, I never expected you would find actual augment Oh, thanks for sending me here, then. I'll take your Diburnium-reinforced armor. Oh. What is uh, Diburnium? Uh, Congratulations. it's got the burns. It prevents burns? I don't know. Couple steps up from Palladium. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it just, it rhymed. You dated yourself <laughs> to a 90s kid confirmed. Uh. The ultimate place to play. Um, no, no. I was maybe thinking, we don't get a follow-up mission. I was thinking in Dragon mission. Quest they have pl palladium armor. Palladium. Pal palladium. That's a real, ma real material. Oh. Huh. Yeah. How about that? Uh, it has an unusual property of compressing hydrogen atoms to be really close. So a lot of science fiction, like Iron Man, uses mm. it as like a fusion power source. Yeah, I'll, I'll go. The back. Pons and Fleischmann cold fusion scare or fake out was. Uh, <laughs> centered around using palladium there to compress go. hydrogen and generate heat. Fun fact, another thing Star Trek got wrong is what cold fusion is. <laughs> All right, go here. Admiral Quinn well, we have... says you're the right officer for this. See you later, buddy. Well, we yeah, I'm great. Um, I don't think so, but it sounds really important for the plot for us to... Oh. What's this? Deep Space Encounter Klingon Rebels? Let's check it out. <laughs> Hey, the Archangel Marine Corps, AMC. Isn't that a TV network that produces Mad Men? <laughs> I like the I like Hannah Chrono Plugger though. That's like a Skywalker style last name, but it's, it is. But like it is. 
Yeah, it's great. I think it'd be fun she to She can go much like faster that. than me. Kate, you didn't actually answer my question about intellectual property. They have a license. Okay, so they can be very... They can make a Star Trek game. Okay. Yeah. It's actually the sh- the shape of the Enterprise is no. copyrighted. Really? Yeah, like, so huh. having a saucer and then, like, a, a primary hull. Um, yeah. No, I'm sorry, Hannah. Uh, I'm in a committed relationship with... Showing off your shields? <laughs> with showing off my shields. Oh, I haven't... We haven't gotten to... Compl- like, my annual complaint about shields. Annual? Yeah. That... Didn't we do this in a different... You it I, doesn't matter. Did we talk about shields? Yeah, how they clearly just make the ship explode. Oh, we did. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It drives me crazy. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're going to go into the Eye of Sauron here. and That's not what I was thinking it was. <laughs> <laughs> into a hateful vagina in space? <laughs> no. All right, I'm on level 21. I'm probably at least twice as high as everyone else here. Full impulse. Let's start shooting. I'm trying to figure out the controls as we go here. Rank 29, I can probably... No, I'm getting I'm getting rocked. But this is a really good way to show off combat. Lots yep. of combat happening. I might be in trouble. Do you not have any friends with you? No, there's like power oh, growth on that. the USS <laughs> Superman. That's brilliant. No, they're doing all the work. I am contributing very marginally. I'm gonna reinforce my forward shields. Well, that's, so that, that's what happens if you play like teams in Super Mario, and you do really horrible, <laughs> and your your teammates do really awesome. And you're like, oh yeah, we finished first as a team. Right? This is a little too chaotic. I'm gonna have to peace out. I of course know how to do this. <laughs> All right, that's cool. We'll hang out for a bit. Can't you just fly those out? Um. Separatist Klingons have been attacking Federation ships. They must be stopped at all costs. Man, Separatists get such a bad rap. Like, you'd think, and like a lot of these are American. You'd think they'd be kind of cool. <laughs> I guess maybe they're thinking more Civil War than American Revolution. But it's like, y'all are Separatists. Or descendants of. This doesn't show it too much. I mean, it's a little chaotic just because there's nothing but fighting here. But the cool thing is it's a diet version of the really good space combat in Bridge Commander. Where you're sort of balancing trying to hit a weakened arc on the enemy and trying to focus... Well, Canadian accent there, right? Um, <laughs> trying to focus your uh, your strong shield towards them so uh, you can keep taking a pound in and they can't. I feel like I've never heard you say it like that either. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it happens. Uh, All right. The ship I have, though, is kind of geared towards uh, pointing at them and killing. Isn't that what you would do with Mars? What are you talking about? One sec, I had to mess him up with my extra B. Or if you, are you talking about if you had guns on other parts of your ship? Does that mean you have no shields? Not bad. Nope. No, we're good. Everything's fine. Thank you. Oh man. Hannah Chrono Plugger has some serious guns though. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't, like, like, Chrono Plugger is, like, like worse than the hard C. Yeah, I feel like you're saying a bad word. Yeah, I like it a lot. That was a huge warship we just messed up. Okay, we're actually in really big trouble here. I think I can do this. No. We're trying to balance out the shields here. Sorry, you said Bridge Commander has good combat? Oh yeah, it was the best. So it had like six shield arcs, because they did uh, Dorsal and Ventral as well. And that's a Star Trek game also? Yeah, Star Trek Bridge Commander was awesome. Um, and no one's ever really done Star or combat like that before or since. I mean, I guess this is like it, but this is the diet version. 
Okay, as soon as full impulse is available. I'm getting out of here. Okay, probably not gonna happen. I'll just take these all by myself. <laughs> Are our friendly ships gone? No, they're just elsewhere. Oh. They didn't come to my party. Oh. It's alright, they're eight levels ahead of me. It'll work out. I'll join your stupid thing to save me! Captain, the real shield is down. All of our shields are down. Ooh, a boarding party shuttle. Wouldn't want to get hit by that. Yeah, see you later. That was a really bad use of that ability. It's crazy. This is for, like, not me. Hey, we made it. How is your friends did enough work and we can get out of here? Um... I feel like I did the heavy lifting. <laughs> okay, which one of these? Okay, so you recover over time, is that what Yeah, your crew fixes it, so depending on how many people are still alive on the ship. Is it better to just sit and wait, or you just drive or cruise? Return to sector space, not Idris Elba. Engage. Yeah, engage. Yes. And uh, see if anyone's alive on decks one, two, whatever the last one is. Man, if this were an episode of Star Trek, so many consoles would have exploded. <laughs> it would have just been like someone set off fireworks on the bridge. Yep. And every yeah, and everybody would have had, you know, third degree burns to their faces. Whoa. Whoa. Way to way to make it real. Well that's what happens if your console explodes in your face while you're checking it out. And you get killed off to make oh. the situation more oh, serious. But you also fly out of your seat. Yeah. The other effect. <laughs> what they need happens. is like <laughs> Seat belts and an extra yeah. pane of glass Why over top. Are there no seat belts. There I are. Understand it's space, but in, into dark. Well, that would make it almost more important. Mm. Uh, and into darkness, they have uh, seat belts. That's probably the redeeming quality of the movie, I would say. <laughs> yeah, I said it, JJ. You're a steady <laughs> pair of hands, but you're no innovator. We know what we'll get. Yeah, that's that's why you hire JJ. Yeah. To. Uh, and he's good at introducing characters. Mm -hmm. And doing homage and setting up. He's good at setting up plot arcs. Like, that was half yes. of what people were bummed out about in. But then, isn't his in thing the last he Jedi. just repeats that again? Well, yeah, he's and really like, good at setting up he's, plot arcs. <laughs> yeah. He's the ideas guy. He's a good ideas guy. And then you hand it off to Ryan Johnson and then the internet can lose their mind forever. My YouTube feed has been nothing but people complaining about The Last Jedi and I keep being like, not interested. I want to talk about... Well, some other else? things happened. Anything else? What's... Sorry, people don't like The Last Jedi? Oh, we talked about Yeah, we talked about this okay. too. Um, yeah, I mean... It's all over the place. The movie has problems, but, I mean, as usual with the internet, the rhetoric is out of proportion with the yes. size of the problem. It's like, I don't like what happened to Luke. It's like, right, but did that really ruin all also, Star Wars forever? Like, you can't often, watch Empire anymore and enjoy it? But often the haters get the loud voice, right? They say something and everyone's like, yeah, you know what? It does suck. I, I used to believe that, and I used like people would be like, I think there's a silent majority that's really cool about stuff, but not anymore. <laughs> there's a Star Trek Discovery philosophy for you. The yes. the Orville's good though. It is. Let's it's, fuck it a little bit more. Yeah, the Orville's we like good. It. it makes us feel like we're that's exactly what we would like. Yeah, a few the future seems. Like what did you, you say? Wanna... Star Trek with jokes. Star Trek with dick jokes. And other jokes. Yeah, and other jokes. <laughs> and some of them don't land, but that's okay. Some of... Some when people Star when people get nostalgic over Star Trek as well, they always think of like, there are four lights! And it's yeah. like, there's a couple weird episodes with Troy's mom. Or, yeah, Council of Troy's mom. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not thinking of those when you're thinking about how great the show was. That's how true. visionary. I think I went I also, above the plane of I also the really enjoy... The Orville's imagining of the holodeck. Like how? I think it's well, a holodeck. I, well, I just think they have like how they uh, use it. Yeah, I think they have a, a couple of fun. They have more fun. Yeah. Yeah, I like, like that slightly more blue collar. Like they don't have symphonies; they have karaoke night. And true. in the holodeck, yeah. they're not recreating uh, Sherlock Holmes. They're like doing Mexican standoffs. 
Yes. Combined with the occasional dance party because one of the guys is an idiot. Yeah. The guy like, who rigged the game. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. I like buy it. that. Yeah. And we have to I would settle really for that future. We, <laughs> if someone was like, this is as good as this guy, I'd be like, all right, well, at least we're all alive. I think that that's our main complaint with Star Trek Discovery. Because Discovery, it's Everyone just like, hates each other. That is a horrible future. Why would I want to be part of it? Yeah. I know some people were like, the stereotype is that Star Trek is the optimistic future. And then some people were like, mm, it's not optimistic. There's lots of terrible stuff. But it's like, but if someone told you, you have to choose between living in the world of Star Trek or Blade Runner. And you have to live there for the rest of your life. Everyone would be like, I'll take the one where there's le- almost no disease and yeah. no one's starving and to no death in the streets. To, I was going to say, and no one has to cook. And there's let's no Blade Runners randomly great, shooting people. <laughs> well, I was going to say, let's talk about how great replicators are. I think that all the time. According to one, apparently the flavor's not great. It's like, it's like packaged food. Oh. It's like it, it's it's like high grade packaged food. It's like it's pretty good. Oh, wow. It's no restaurant experience, okay? Yeah. Gordon Ramsay would he would not use a replicator. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this was a really short sample of what the game's like, um, and it's really old, and I don't have Idris Elba yet. Um, but ladies, watch out! <laughs> <laughs> All right, the recorder <laughs> crashed. Uh, I've been not restarting my computer enough and turning it off at night, and that makes it act up more. How? How sad. Yeah, it's okay. The reason is, um, like, if I have something I'm working on, sometimes I like to leave it on overnight, and if it takes... Let it sink a little bit. Well, I just to to ease in the the getting back. In. Anyway, Merry Christmas, <laughs> Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Hopefully this Happy... video finds you recovering from any... Uh, from 2017 from christmas yeah or... yeah yeah well that's why we had like dragon quest on christmas day because mm. that was opening presents and laid back yes because it's hard to There's get nothing to more it. laid back than wandering around in the same woods looking for <laughs> <one> treasure <laughs> the music was pretty <laughs> and then after i hope your senses still work after the space combat but i like this game and it's pretty chill although mm. i told you i was playing it to relax and then I let you play. I was playing this time. <laughs> Mrs. Get Dave did not find it relaxing. You I did, did space not. combat and you were like, ah! Yeah, I'm like, the entire why are time. so many ships attacking me? Also, like, I don't know how to rotate because I have a really hard time in three space. So then I was like, how are they shooting at me? Oh, they're above me. Oh, yeah, no. above and behind and <laughs> beside. <laughs> uh, uh, have uh, a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs>